Well, hey guys, I'm my sunshine mug here, and today I have an updated oily skin friendly sunscreen video for you guys. My last one was well over a year ago. It was really popular. You all have asked for some updated products, which I have here. I would just like to say though, a lot of times I get comments, can you recommend a sunscreen that won't make me oilier? And I have to tell you all a little nitpicky detail. Oil production has nothing to do with the stuff that you put on your skin. It's gar largely governed by a combination of genetics and hormones. If you are using something that's super irritating and your skin is inflamed, like you're dealing with an irritant contact dermatitis, that can actually make you a little bit oilier because of all of that inflammation. But by and large, products don't really cause oiliness. But where people with oily skin find that they butt heads with sunscreens has to do with the fact that a lot of sunscreens, because they form a film that kind of slow down the rate of sweat evaporation. Sweat mixed with your body's natural oils can really feel greasy and heavy and make you look super duper shiny. So the sunscreens that I'm going to be talking about in today's video have ingredients that kind of address these issues specific to oily skin folks and um, because these are great for oily skin they all have a matte finish to them. The first one I have been using for over a year now. I, I want to say a year now. I can't actually remember. It is a Japanese sunscreen that is a dream for oily skin. I don't even have oily skin, but I really like it a lot, although it is a little matte. It is the Omi Averdio UV Moisture Gel. They also make a moisture essence. You guys, they're pretty much the same. I can't really appreciate any noticeable difference between the two. This one's water resistant, so that's great. It won't run into your eyes. It's good if you live in a humid environment and you're really sweaty all the time. It is SPF 50 and the UVA rating is PA 4 plus. So it gives you really good protection against not only the burning rays, UVB, but also those rays that penetrate really deeply, destroy collagen and contribute to a lot of issues surrounding hyperpigmentation. That is UVA. This has Uvenol A plus for UVA 1 and UVA 2. It also has uh, titanium dioxide, which will give you a little bit of UVA as well as UVB. It has Tinosorb S, a filter that blocks UVB and UVA1 and UVA2 and it also has two UVB filters octinoxate and uvenol T150. It doesn't pill or ball and it absorbs very quickly onto the surface of the skin so that if you want to put makeup on over it I think you'll find that this gives you no issue. It feels like I'm in a steamy shower some days here in Houston with the humidity and this I don't have any issue reapplying in in that in that heat, I find it goes on really comfortably, absorbs quickly, and it doesn't feel like I have this heavy weight on my skin. The only product has a little bit of a subtle, like white flashback because it does have titanium dioxide in it, but otherwise, it doesn't have a cast to it. So if you have a darker skin tone, I don't think you're gonna have any issue with that giving you a cast or anything, but you may notice a little bit of a shimmery shine to the skin while wearing it because of that titanium dioxide. Another sunscreen that is from Japan, I get these on Yes Style by the way, I'll link them down below, Can Make Mermaid Skin Gel. Now this one, unlike the Omi Verdeo, is not water resistant but it has both zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. So that combination together will by itself give you really good, give you decent UVB and UVA1 and UVA2 coverage. This also has a great UVA filter, UV, Uvenol A+, which gives you UVA1 and UVA2. And then it's got Tinosorb in it, which gives you everybody, UVB, UVA1, and UVA2. And then lastly, it has octinoxate. So, a lot of filters to give you really good broad spectrum coverage. This one does kind of leave the skin looking, I will say pearlescent. It's not a cast, and but it does give this kind of subtle shimmery shine. That's from the zinc and titanium dioxide. So it's not completely cast free. So that one I love. So those are two Japanese sunscreens. Now this is a La Roche-Posay sunscreen that a viewer sent me and you can get it in the UK, you can get it in France. I'm not sure where else in Europe that you can get it. And in Canada, I'm not sure if you can get this one either, but it is the La Roche-Posay Anti-Shine. 
this uh, is really good for oily skin. It's got amazing filters for broad spectrum protection. It's got La Roche-Posay's Mexoril in it, Mexoril SX and XL give phenomenal UVB and UVA protection together, but it's also got Bad Boy Tinisorb in there, and it also has Juvenal T150, as well as Ava Benzone. This sunscreen does not sting or burn around the eyes. A lot of times chemical sunscreens, they will burn or sting around the eyes. But the nice thing about other countries outside of the US where they have more filters at their disposal is that they can, they have more ingredients so they don't have to use as high percentages of certain ingredients that end up causing stinging and irritation. This one is really comfortable. It's got um, aluminum starch in it, which will help absorb some excess greasiness. It dries super matte. This is actually almost too drying for me. I don't find that I enjoy wearing it, but I do find that if it's a particularly humid, sweaty day, um, this applies, I like to apply this. It's, it goes on much more comfortably. It is water resistant and no cast to this whatsoever. And I think you guys will really like it. As far as how it compares to the Shaka fluid, I find this is more matte. So if you're looking for a really matte sunscreen, which many people with oily skin want, this is, this is gonna be your a better choice in my opinion, just in my experience wearing both of them. Getting to the US of A though, um, this is a one that I actually purchased at Walmart recently. It's really good and I love wearing it. It's the Copper Tone um, Defend and Care line. Fragrance free, all of these sunscreens by the way are fragrance free. Now this is a chemical sunscreen exclusively. There's no zinc or titanium dioxide in it. Copper Tone does a really nice job in the formulation of this. It's high SPF, which I like because studies show that the higher the SPF, the more likely you are to get good protection just because of how people apply things. This actually doesn't sting or burn around the eyes. You may find that that, that, that is not the case for you though. It's kind of an individualized outcome. Um, this one is water resistant, so it shouldn't run into your eyes. I really enjoy this for running outside. It leaves no cast whatsoever and this one similar to the anti shine this one has um, aluminum starch in it as well so you'll get that oil absorbing aspect to it and I think you'll really like it very affordable uh, so I wanted to share it here because I like it and you know the times that we're in I know you guys are really watching your watching your cash flow quite a bit so that's one that doesn't break the bank Another affordable SPF that is great for just like every day as your moisturizer for days that you're mostly in the house. I say that because A, it's not water resistant and B, it's a lower SPF of 30, um, is the different moisturizer. SPF 30, again, like I said, it's not water resistant and it's, it's SPF 30, so a little bit lower and it's fine though to use 30 like on days that you're mostly inside on days that you're going to be outdoors for a prolonged period of time you want to go with with a higher spf though just just be safe but yeah this is great for every day it's got the aluminum starch in it to wick up oiliness perfect and this you guys is the exact same as uh, cetaphil derma control oily spf i can't remember what it's called but i'll put an image of the sunscreen here on the screen so that you guys can see they're the exact same product very good for oily skin no cast um you can either get this or that one they're no different just get what is available to you and if one happens to be on sale obviously go with that um, but yeah, this is really good and um, I like it as an everyday moisturizer. It does dry matte. There's no greasy feeling to this whatsoever. All right, the next product that is actually pretty similar to the different moisturizer, I have used this myself for years. I use this a lot uh, in med school when I was, again, indoors mostly. It's very oily skin friendly, as obviously all of these are. It is the Neutrogena Clear Face. I mean, if you've been watching my videos from the beginning, you'll remember when I first started my channel, this is actually what I was wearing, what I used at that time, and I still really love it. It, um, 
They also make an SPF 50, but I'll tell you this. One thing about the Neutrogena sunscreens, they sting like the Dickens, especially the higher SPF ones. They burn around the eyes like none other. It's because, I believe, they stabilize the avobenzone, which is great. Avobenzone is the filter that protects against the aging rays UVA, but is not stable, super stable. They stabilize it, and that's what Helioplex is. But part of how they stabilize it is by complexing it with oxybenzone, I believe. Uh, this has oxybenzone in it. And that, to me, is what stings. Oxybenzone is probably one of the most irritating chemical filters. And there's a big push to do away with it because when you expose um, coral reef larvae to high concentrations of it in a dish, it, it kills them. So, there, you know, there's a push to do away with it because of... Uh, theoretical concern to the health of the coral reef uh, and and it's irritating so this is one that definitely can cause that issue for me the 30 cause it, it, the 30 is fine I have no issue with the 30 it doesn't burn or sting but if you have really sensitive skin if you have oily rosacea prone skin I would say skip this but otherwise it's great and I love it it's great all of these, by the way, that I'm talking about in today's video, you know, they're obviously for oily skin, but if you have acne, they are, they're acne friendly as well. I know, you know, they often, it often goes hand in hand that you have oily skin and acne. Oiliness is kind of part of acne, although you can have dry skin and acne. I have a video on that, but <laughs> that aside, um, you know, this, know that it, it, uh, there's a good chance it will sting around the eyes. All right, a high protection SPF that's perfect if you are going to be outdoors for a prolonged period of time or just as an everyday sunscreen, everyday product. You can use it on the face, on the body. And for me, it does not sting around the eyes whatsoever, which I find surprising given that's a high SPF chemical sunscreen, no cast, is this bad boy. La Roche-Posay SPF 60. Um, melt-in sunscreen milk. So yeah, this, this is fantastic. No cast to this whatsoever. It is perfect for oily skin. Now La Roche-Posay has a facial sunscreen that's marketed for people with oily skin. It's actually very similar to the Neutrogena Clear Face one. And like, like the Clear Face, the La Roche-Posay one stings around the eyes. Go figure. This is a much better choice in my opinion than that one because it doesn't sting, no cast, and it's a better value. You get a bigger bottle that you could use on your on your body as well. As an aside, I always get questions like, can we use body sunscreens on our face? Absolutely, body sunscreens applied to the face will protect your the skin of your face just as they do the body. The issue though is that a lot of body sunscreens are a lot more heavy and a lot more moisturizing, greasier. For people with dry skin, they, they often like doing that and that works out well for them. But if you have oily skin at baseline, there's a good chance that that's just not gonna work for you. Um, but you certainly can try to do that if, if you want. It's definitely more economical, but I find that many body sunscreens, when applied to the face, they are a lot heavier. Um, this one, though, is, is kind of formulated to be friendly for both the face and the body, especially for people with oily skin, keeping that in mind. It just has a nice dry, dry finish to it or a matte finish. Speaking of matte finish, a tinted mineral sunscreen that is great. If you have oily skin that's super sensitive, this is the one that I'm going to recommend for you guys. It is the Replenix Ultimate Perfection SPF 50. This is super duper matte. So the Replenix product has just zinc oxide. If you have really sensitive skin, this is gonna be a good one for you. It's gonna be friendly around the eyes. And if you have skin that heals with hyperpigmentation, this is a good one because in addition to zinc, you also have the iron oxides in there. So both ingredients actually uh, provide protection against those pro-pigmenting wavelengths of visible light that lead to early onset and persistent hyperpigmentation. So yeah, that's that's a good one. I'm wearing a pool cover up from my FabFit Fun Box. I thought it would be appropriate to wear today. Um, anyways, I digress. Yeah, 
Uh, the Ulti Matte is a fantastic matte finish tinted sunscreen. Another matte finish tinted sunscreen that I actually have come to like. I was a little mm, at, in the beginning, but I personally have enjoyed wearing it. It is a little bit too matte for me, but I, I do like the way it looks on the skin. Is the Super Goo Glow Screen SPF 40. Unlike the Ulti Matte, the tint on this product is more what you're going for if you want like a bronzy glow. It's very shimmery and so it's not gonna be right for everybody. It kind of makes me look a little bit glittery. And so sometimes it looks nice if I put it on before filming, but I wear it a lot. It's very matte. So obviously for people with oily skin, skin you're likely to enjoy it. But they did uh, take it upon themselves to give this a PA rating. It's three plus. so. Um, it's great that we have that information, you know, that's not required in American sunscreens and that's why we have no ability to, to like grasp the degree to which a product will protect us against those aging rays, the UVA rays. We only get SPF, which tells you how well the product will protect you against UVB induced burns. So yeah, I mean, they're, the information is limited, but Super Goob does that and it's, S, it, it's PA3, so lower than, <clears throat> lower than, the, um, than the Japanese sunscreens. Um, you can layer tinted sunscreens on over top, non-tinted sunscreens if you want, like that's fine. And then last but not least, I'm almost certain I mentioned this in my last oily skin video, but I'm going to share it with you guys again because it is so matte. It's the Elta MD UV Clear SPF 46. This is so oily skin friendly and acne prone skin friendly, it's disturbing. It's like they formulated it just for those folks. Very few ingredients, which I like. It's got a short ingredient list. It's zinc oxide and octinoxate. There's really not much of a cast, if any at all, with this, which is nice. I'll show you guys here, even though. So this has niacinamide in it, which can help calm down redness, as well as help with oiliness. This is one where I, it's generally too matte for me, but I go through phases in the summer of enjoying wearing it um, because it's so humid here and you can end up feeling oily and greasy all the time. And the matte, the matte-ifying is, is, is welcome. Yeah, I mean, you can see there's no cast really with this. Yeah, you really don't see much at all if you're phototype three like I am. If you have phototype four, five, and six, you may find that this gives a little bit of kind of a milkiness to the skin, which you don't like. I selected these sunscreens for you guys because I've used them all personally and I know they dry with a matte finish and are not greasy. I know that all of them don't pill or ball and with the exception of a few, for the most part, they don't sting or burn and they're all acne friendly. They also pretty much all have ingredients in them that help in absorbing excess oiliness. All that being said, if you are using a sunscreen that does not say anywhere in the labeling or marketing that it is for oily skin, but it doesn't cause you any issue, continue using it. Like there's no reason to abandon what is working for you. A lot of skin type Marketing is just that, marketing. Oily skin, dry skin, combination skin. A lot of it is really just kind of marketing and there are just subtle ingredient differences that a lot of times make no difference. It's just an excuse for the company to put out more products to advertise to different demographics. So I'm telling you guys that because don't necessarily be afraid or shy away from products, sunscreens that don't say for oily skin. Um, it's still worth a try. Like I said, with the body sunscreen, if you have a body sunscreen, go ahead and try using it on your face. You might find it's just fine. And you end up, you know, saving money and focusing on what you have and finishing up what you have rather than buying something new. So go ahead and try it, try what you have. Um, and do know that putting sunscreen on your face actually does not affect oil production. 
uh, at all. The thing that makes you feel oilier is that a lot of sunscreens slow down the rate of evaporation of sweat. They feel heavy and occlusive on the skin. They can make you look shiny. And there's honestly no way to predict if that's going to be the case for you. There really isn't. I mean, some people, it's just subtle differences in our skin type that like, I mean, there's not, you just really can't predict based on ingredients or anything like that. So long story short, if you have sunscreen at home, go ahead right now after this video. If you have a sunscreen that you haven't really used in a while and you know, it, it, so long as it's, so long as it's within its expiration date, go ahead and put it on your face and see how you like it. Uh, maybe you can just use that and not have to buy something new. Anyways, guys, I hope this video helped you all in finding a sunscreen that works for you. If you've got one that works for you, share the name of it down below in the, des the description box. Share it down below in the comments with us. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.